During our hypnosis session today, you are going to let me take complete control of your mind. But to do that, I'll need your participation. What I need you to do is listen carefully to the following instructions, then pause this video while you do them. Is that clear? Excellent. I need you to go and find something that will act as a pendulum. It could be a necklace, if there's one in the house, or another type of string with a weight at the end. Just something that will swing when you hold it up. Once you've done that, I'll need you to find a nice, quiet, comfortable place to sit, either on a chair with your back supported, or on the floor against a wall. Somewhere you won't be disturbed for the next 20 minutes. Is that clear? Good. Now, pause this video on the next screen and I'll meet you in your quiet place. Welcome back. I hope those tasks were easy for you. Your job is about to get even easier as all you need to do is relax and hand over control of yourself to me. Make sure you're comfortable and we'll begin. First, I want you to take your pendulum and hold it up so that your eyes are looking slightly upwards when your head is level, like this. If the string is too long, just gather it up in your hand until it's comfortable to hold. Now, I want you to hold that position and just focus on the pendulum. Notice when it starts to swing gently from side to side. Follow the movement with your eyes. Allow the pendulum to take up all of your attention. Yes, that's right. Just watch the pendulum as it swings. Soon you'll start to notice that the pendulum is slowly sinking as your arm grows heavier and harder to hold up. Your arm is growing tired and heavy as the pendulum slowly drops further downwards. Your eyelids droop with it. Your eyes are getting tired. Your eyelids are getting heavy. Soon the pendulum is too hard to watch. With every blink, your eyelids grow heavier and heavier until your eyes remain closed. The pendulum falls gently into your lap as your arm grows too heavy to hold up. The feeling of heaviness spreads slowly along your shoulder, up your neck and into your head. Your head feels so heavy. All the little muscles in your head and face relax. The muscles in your forehead, around your eyes, around your mouth, all relax. The heaviness continues down your neck, along your other shoulder and down your other arm. So heavy, so relaxed. It is a feeling of pure bliss to feel so relaxed. The feeling fills your chest as you breathe in a long, slow, deep breath. As you breathe out through your mouth, you feel any remaining tension in your chest go with it and you can breathe deeper and easier from now on. Your next breath in moves all the way down into your stomach, and as the breath leaves your body, all the tension from your stomach and your back leave with it. You continue to breathe like this, slowly and deeply, and you feel the relaxation, the heaviness, move down your legs, past your knees, to your ankles and feet, all the way down to your toes. Everything feels so heavy, so relaxed. It is pure bliss. Take a few more deep breaths and notice how you feel. Notice your state of relaxation and how it makes you feel emotionally. Do you feel calm, happy, open-minded perhaps? Allow these feelings to flow through you. Just observe them. Do not follow them. Just breathe. Just be. In this state of relaxation, you are more open to my suggestions. More willing to accept as true all that I say to you. You want to listen to my voice and hear the comforting words I speak. As I speak, you realize how much you love the sound of my voice. You love to listen to it, let it wash over you. It is a beautiful sound, so beautiful you want to listen closely to every word and accept as true everything that I say. The longer you listen to my voice, the more your own thoughts slip away. There is only me and my voice in your head. 
It is the only voice you hear, the only voice you listen to. The longer you listen, the more you want to listen. My voice is more soothing to you than anything you've ever heard. All you want to do is let the sound wash over you, flow around you, become part of you. My voice is your voice. My voice is all there is. Follow the sound of my voice as it leads you down into a deeper state of relaxation and brings you further under my control. To begin this journey, you will take a few more deep breaths now, breathing in and breathing out, breathing in and breathing out, in and out. Good. Very good. Now, I'm going to count down from 10 to 1. As I speak each number, the image of it will appear clearly in your mind's eye, then fade away as it is replaced with the next number. With each number, you will sink further into a state of complete relaxation. Your body will grow heavier and heavier. Your breathing will grow deeper and deeper. You will feel so peaceful, more peaceful than you've ever felt before. 10. See the number appear before your eyes. Feel your breathing deepen. Feel your body grow heavier. 9. See this new number replace the last as you take another slow, deep breath. Eight, feeling heavy, so heavy, and so open to my suggestions. Seven, listening so closely to me, taking in every word I say, your body feeling heavier still and so completely relaxed. Six, breathing deeply, listening to my voice as it guides you deeper and deeper into relaxation. 5. Breathe deep. Listen to me. Sleep. 4. Listen and accept my words. Sleep. 3. Hear my voice above all else. Sleep. 2. Listen to me and me alone. It feels so good to give me control. Sleep. 1. Listen to me and know that you are now completely under my command, so deeply relaxed and so open to my suggestions. Sleep. My suggestions will make their way to your subconscious now as I take complete control of you. As you listen to me, I command you to bring all your worries, all your anxieties, to the front of your mind. Think of everything that troubles you. Watch as one worry drifts to the front of your mind. Notice it and let the others fall back. Just focus on this one troublesome thought. Watch it chase its tail around and around in your mind until it runs so fast in circles it becomes a ball of stress. Now. In your mind's eye, reach out and hold this ball of stress in your hands. Notice how it feels as it rests in your palms. Does it feel heavy or light? Is the surface rough or smooth? Just observe this ball of stress, this thing that is separate to yourself. When you're ready, you look up to see that you are standing at the edge of the ocean, the waves lapping at your bare feet, wet sand between your toes. You stand there for a moment, listening to the calming rush of the waves, the ball of stress still resting in your hands, and you come to realise what you need to do. Holding the ball in one hand, you stretch your arm out behind you and take a step back preparing to throw. 
Swinging your arm over your head, you launch the ball of stress towards the horizon. You watch it as it soars through the sky in a neat arc, shrinking fast as the distance between you grows. When it lands in the ocean, it's so far away that you barely see the splash, but you feel the weight of it lift from your chest and you know that it's gone. It hasn't sunk, it didn't float. The moment it hit the water, it simply fizzled out, vanished from existence. It feels so good to have taken that weight of your chest that you eagerly reach inside your mind for the next ball of stress. You bring the next anxiety that presents itself to you to the front of your mind and watch it spin itself into a ball, just like the last one. When you hold it in your hands, you notice it feels different. Perhaps the surface is coarser, or it sits heavier in your hands. You take notice of it, and when you're ready, you look out over the water again and throw. You watch it sail through the sky, flying even further than the last one, and once again, you feel it when it hits the water. You feel that weight vanish from your chest, and you take a deep breath, enjoying the feeling. You repeat this pattern again and again, spinning troublesome thoughts into balls to be thrown away, soaring through the sky, splashing into the water further and further from the shore every time. All those worries, all those anxieties, effortlessly washed away by the ocean. All the bad feelings gone, thrown away by both your conscious and subconscious mind. You feel lighter, happier, at peace. You feel good, pleased with yourself that you're taking the time to clean out your mind, discarding all those thoughts that no longer serve you. As each ball is cast away, your mind grows brighter, clearer. Positive thoughts and self-love begin to fill the empty space where the anxiety used to be. Now that you have thrown all your stress, all your anxiety, into the ocean, you feel completely at peace. You feel open and receptive to positive change. You gaze out at the ocean for a moment longer, taking another deep breath and smiling to yourself. Then you turn and walk slowly along the beach, gentle waves on one side of you, and warm sand on the other. In the distance, you see a small hut. You're curious to know what's inside, so you make your way towards it, leaving footprints in the sand behind you. When you reach it, you go inside to find an empty room with mirrors on every wall. It's not what you expected. You were hoping for large windows with gorgeous ocean views, so you turn to leave. But before you do, one of the reflections catches your eye. You turn to it to see a person who looks like you, but something about them is different, better. What is it? Are they standing taller with more confidence? Are they smiling with more joy than you feel? Are they thinner, stronger? Whatever the difference is between you and your reflection, they have the qualities you wish you had. You feel envious of them for a moment, until you realise that mirrors can't lie. Whatever you see in this reflection before you, that's exactly what the mirror sees in you. Now that you have discarded the thoughts that were weighing you down, you have made room for those positive thoughts to fill your mind and turn you into the person you have always wanted to be. Take another look in the mirror now, 
and really focus on the person you see there. Focus on the qualities they have that you desire, because everything you see in that mirror is what you already have. Are you confident, motivated, loving, intelligent, strong, healthy, calm? The answer, of course, is yes. You are already who you want to be in your mind, and when you decide to believe that, accept it as fact, then you will act in accordance of your true self, and your life will shift around you to accommodate this new and improved version of you. If you believe you are a confident person, you will act like a confident person, and those things in life that are drawn to confident people will be drawn to you. People and opportunities that are attracted by confidence will be attracted to you. Likewise, if you believe you are strong, in body, mind or both, you will act with strength and in turn become stronger for it. The results of this way of thinking will be obvious to you and everyone around you, and they will wonder how you did it. If they ask you, simply tell them that all it took was a shift in perspective and a tiny change of vocabulary. From now on, every time you think to yourself, I can't do it, replace those words in your mind with, how can I do it? This way, instead of building a wall of doubt, you are building a staircase of opportunity. And every time you think about the task you want to do, instead of looking for bricks to add to your wall, you're looking for materials from which you can build the next step which will bring you closer and closer to your goal until you inevitably reach it. Take a few more moments to look closely at your reflection, the person you already are in your heart and mind. Take care to remember the detail of how they stand straight and tall, how they look you in the eye and smile kindly at you. Notice how they look and how they are comfortable with their own appearance. Remember that this is you. All you have to do is choose to accept this version of you and act accordingly. When you are ready, you sit with your back against one of the mirrored walls and close your eyes. You breathe deeply in and out. In and out. You hear my voice and notice it once again. Notice that you are hearing this voice outside yourself. Notice the surface you are sitting on, how solid and supportive it feels. Notice the surface against your back. Notice where your hands are resting. Are they in your lap? By your sides? Notice the temperature of the room around you. Is it comfortable, too hot or too cold? Breathe deeply as I begin to release you from your hypnotized state. Though I release you, your experience remains. You remain calm and focused. You remain your better self, the one you met in the mirror. You no longer need my voice to guide you to this version of yourself, now that you have become them. I'm going to count upwards from 1 to 10, and when I reach 10, you will have emerged entirely from under my control. You will be the one in command once again. 1. Breathing deeply, and with each breath, rising upwards towards self-awareness and self-control. Two, rising further, breathing deeply, remaining calm. Three, wiggle your toes, your feet, your ankles as they grow lighter. Four, stretch your legs and knees as they grow light also. 5. 
twist your torso and open your chest as you take a deep, refreshing breath in and out. Six, lift your arms above your head as they grow lighter, almost floating away. Seven, slowly turn your head from side to side, your eyelids fluttering as they begin to open. Eight, if you are ready, slowly open your eyes and begin to take in your surroundings. Nine, if you are ready, stand up and stretch your whole body, reaching your fingertips up to the ceiling as you breathe in and lowering your arms slowly as you breathe out. 10. You are now completely under your own control. Thank you for taking the time to participate in this hypnosis session. I hope you're feeling peaceful and refreshed and that you move forward from this point in time with less stress and a better self-image. Remember that if you ever feel weighed down with negative thoughts, you can return to the ocean at any time and cast those thoughts away. And if you ever feel like you're drifting away from who you want to be, you can always return to the mirror where you first found yourself and find that your best self is still there, waiting to remind you of who you truly are. For now, this is where I leave you. My only hope is that I'm leaving you in a better place than where I found you. Goodbye, and have a lovely day.